In my hands is one of the most anticipated boxes to come to Wheels Through Time, and I can't tell you how long. Now, over the past several months, we've been restoring the 2022 Wheels Through Time raffle bike. This 1937 Harley Davidson knucklehead bought the motorcycle out of, from our good friend Joe Gardella uh, in Michigan as a basket case. And hundreds and hundreds of hours later, this is where we stand. So as you guys may have been following along with us, we've restored this motorcycle literally from the frame up. Uh, every nut, bolt, piece on this motorcycle has been touched, hand fit, hand tightened, uh, starting uh, with the genuine 1937 Harley Davidson knucklehead engine. Ultra rare, second year for the knucklehead, a 61 cubic inch job. Uh, literally one of the most difficult knucklehead motors I've ever built. Came together absolutely flawlessly, as you guys can see. Looks like a million bucks. Now, the bike is uh, set in a one year only 37 double down tube frame, 37 fork, all original sheet metal, uh, of course, one year only color, Delphine blue with teak red striping edged in gold. If you ask me, it doesn't get any better than this. Now, since the last show that you guys caught up with us, we've made a ton of kind of small progress here or a ton of progress on the small things uh, for this bike in order to get it one step closer. Today is the day we're hopefully gonna be finishing this motorcycle and starting it up for the first time. But since the last show, uh, really made some big progress. We've got battery uh, hooked up, oil in the bike, oil in the transmission, three and a half quarts in the oil tank. We've got it, uh, 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 excuse me, we've got the oil uh, bled all the way down to the oil pump, primed it a little bit, probably spun the motor over 20, 30 times just to get oil kind of worked into the passages there. Uh, install the one year only 37 air air cleaner. Um, geez, what else guys? We've got white grips installed. Uh, the thing is completely wired. So as you can see, we got headlight, we got headlight on there. Yep. High low beam. Oh man. Headlight works perfect. <coughs> Horn operational. Uh, got the brake light tail light hooked up. Uh, this bike is so close to finish. CAD plated brake lever over here on the other side, guys, uh, chain guards hooked up. CAD plated, the two years only, I think they did the CAD plating on the clutch and the brake pedals. Uh, CAD plated uh, Harley Davidson rocker clutch pedal. This thing is going to be ready to go in no time. So without further ado, guys, the box, now many of you guys might have guessed already, the box houses the gas tanks for this 1937 Harley. And we're going to open them right now. As exciting as it gets, I've been waiting to see these. They were painted by our good friend in Asheville and hand striped and hand lettered, of course, by the one and only Mark Peters. Um, let's take a look, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Look, here you go. 1937 only paint scheme. So, uh, of course, the Delphine blue overall. You got your top and bottom stripe edged in gold. And then the beautiful flying ball decal. Now, normally, this is a water slide decal. The way that we do it on these bikes is we always try and step things up, uh, make things a little bit nicer. This is actually gold and silver leaf here. And this is all hand lettered. So, to heck with the water slide decal. We're gonna make this as nice as we possibly can. If you ask me, it looks better than they ever did from Harley. Uh, the thing just absolutely glows. Mark Peters in Asheville does all of our hand lettering and uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. It's perfectly flawless, uh, shines like you wouldn't believe. And these gas tanks right now are actually ready to be built. So before we get to mounting the gas tanks on the bike, we've got a little bit of work to do. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is installing the fuel valves uh, fuel valve on each side. They used them from 36 to 39. We got to install the shift gate, uh, shifter, of course, gas caps. At that point, we can bolt the tanks on, fuel line. Uh, we got a rubber strip that goes right in between the tanks, mount a dash, and we should be running in no time, guys. So hang out. Uh, these tanks will come together in no time, and uh, hopefully in, in short order, we'll be cranking this thing up for the very first time. All right, I think that's good. Left side fuel shutoff is in. Next, shifter gate. This is actually first year 
for this type of Harley Davidson shift gate. Uh, they actually started with the four speed in 1936. 36 had a one year only gate. Uh, in 37, they go to this uh, uh, a different style gate here and uh, held in with two, uh, two chrome screws. Uh, as you guys can see, first is up front, neutral, second, third, and fourth. So these ought to slide right in and this has all been pre-fit guys. So from this point, uh, things go together pretty quickly. Uh, there's no, and I know we've talked about it before, no substitution uh, for pre-fitment and doing the hard work uh, before things are painted and shined up because you only really once these uh, once all this stuff is painted you only really get one shot at it and uh, you want to make the finished product as nice as it can be no chips no dings and uh, this is really going to be one sweet sweet set of tanks okay on to the shifter Shifter slides through nice and gently. Ah, oh, what a look. I'm telling you, it doesn't get much better than a 36 to 9 pair of gas tanks. I know we've said it before, but these tanks, guys, absolutely unobtainium. Um, they cost thousands of dollars if you can find them in the first place. And uh, really excited to have an original pair uh, of 36 to 9 knucklehead gas tanks on our raffle bike for you guys. Um, guys search their whole lives for motorcycle tanks like these. Uh, they make reproductions similar, but they're not just perfect. Uh, again, the fit and finish of these tanks, the overall shape, um, gosh, you know, pair of 36 to nine gas tanks. Uh, I wish I had 10 sets. I don't really count on finding any more sets. They get gobbled up when they do pop up and just really uh, oh, beautiful fit too. That shifter fits really well. Okay, so left side tank finished. Slide that gas tank, gas cap on. Gas caps, guys, uh, these are actually the short, knurled, tall eaten gas caps. They just used these for a few years. Now these have been faithfully reproduced. They're absolutely perfect. Uh, so we're gonna bolt these on. You know, gas cap, high wear item. They get dinged up, they get dented up. Uh, these are vented caps, so it's it's uh, crucial that they function properly. So there it is, guys. Left tank finished. Those are going to look so good on the motorcycle. Right tank, a lot easier. So all I got on the right tank is a fuel shutoff. Um, and at that point, uh, yeah, fuel shut off, a gas cap, and then we can get to bolting these bad boys on. So the way we'll probably do it, we'll probably bolt the right side tank on first um, and then go... Uh, to the left from there, fuel line, dash, little gas, and we'll fire it up. Okay, we are set. So here we go. I've got one, two tank bolts. Now, Chris, if you give me a hand over on this side, what you're going to look for, other side now, um, we're going to capture this uh, um, bolt with a nut just so you do right here it's right underneath uh, lock washer flat washer um, just slide it on there for temporary for the time being make sure it doesn't fall off while I get that nut on the inside these things slip on so nicely let's make sure we're underneath yep wow what a look it looked good without the tanks, man, but it's a whole new world right now. Unbelievable. <laughs> man, it doesn't look any cooler. 37, if you ask me, it's the most beautiful color scheme. Um, again, one year only stuff, guys. And this is right kind of nearing the end of that Art Deco era, maybe through 38, 39. Um, the 37 scheme, beautiful, beautiful fender stripes. Uh, of course, top and bottom uh, stripes with the red. Perfect clearance right underneath, just beautiful. Okay, so left side, let's 
Go ahead and take this bolt off. I got the nut on the back already. And rubber strip that'll slip right in between. Chris, this is an early strip. You know, they ran the skull dash 36, mm -hmm. 7, and 8. The rubber strip that separated the gas tanks was actually a little bit longer uh, than the earlier years because that dash is a little bit shorter. So all the proper parts. Uh, this tank strip right in the middle or the rubber strip right in between uh, was actually made by our friend Billy Balser at Strange Bird. Billy makes... Uh, reproduction parts for early Harley Davidson does a really good job uh, actually also Billy made the fuel line for this bike which will be installing uh, very shortly now uh, we're gonna have to get that nut on the back there Chris um, like I said the fuel line 1936 to 39 only uh, these lines were originally cast steel uh, a piece right here in the middle with copper line. These have been made with steel because copper tends to crack over time. So Billy makes sure these things fit absolutely perfectly. Ought to be a really easy install. Uh, we are not far from putting gas in this thing. Let's go back here. All right, on the fuel line. This thing slips ever so slightly right down through here, Chris. We gotta tighten up the fuel filter. One, two. All right, so on to the final steps. Give me that last little bit of torque there. All right, brass fitting so we don't wanna over torque it. Okay, and everything's really tight. We got clearance all the way around which is fantastic. Um, okay, onto the dash. Now, one of the neat things about the early dashes, okay, skull dash, what, one, two, two years, or three years only they use this, 36, 37, and 38. Now up top, guys, what we're looking at, super simple uh, to operate the early Harley Davidson uh, uh, knucklehead dash. Uh, what you've got, of course, is 100, uh, 120 mile an hour speedo. This is actually a one year only speedometer. Uh, it's a one year only bucket. Original equipment this one is. So rare, rare, rare stuff. Uh, this was rebuilt by our friend John Bordas in Texas. Uh, 120 mile an hour speedo, five mile an hour hash marks. Uh, so 36 was a 100 mile an hour speedo with five mile an hour hash marks. 38 was 120, but they were every two miles per hour. So the 37 speedo, one year only uh, trip meter uh, uh, and, and odometer set back to zero. This is a brand new rebuilt motorcycle. Uh, now, you've also got oil pressure gauge over on this side amp gauge over on this side. So amp gauge tells you whether you're charging uh, or, or not charging whether your generator's working, uh, and then your oil pressure switch lets you know if you've got oil pressure uh, throughout the engine. So very, very neat stuff. By 1938, they went away from the gauges. Uh, things start to change in entirely. So this is some of the last of the really cool features, amp gauge uh, and oil pressure gauge. Very, very neat stuff. This was a new old stock uh, amp gauge when we put it on. So Really, really cool stuff. Joe collected all the goodies, and uh, it's going to make for a great addition to this bike. So here we are. Oh, yes. Wow. Make sure our line's out of the way here. Oh, wow. The way it fits on original parts, you just can't beat that. Very, very, very nice. Okay, let me give you a couple screws. We are locked in. Just awesome, guys. That's a sharp looking bike. Good looking dash. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Screw is tight. What a perfect fit. Switch works beautifully. Slide the key back in there. And the very last 
thing to do on this motorcycle is hook the shifter rod up. A uh, half inch wrench does it, and then you guys are going to hear this motorcycle run for the very first time. So, pretty excited about this. Here we go, guys. On the ground. stunning motorcycle I'm telling you just some of the most beautiful combinations that Harley ever did and that blue just ah, sets it off so good okay so a little bit of gas we're gonna go gas in the right side gas tank Chris um, let's grab a paper towel also just to be extra safe this time yep alright here we go We looking like in there we got about a half yet beautiful half a tank fantastic okay gas tank on let's get a screwdriver to tap the float bowl when we turn this fuel on and hopefully we're priming a couple kicks to go fuel on so 61 cubic inches, four speed transmission, knucklehead motor, the beautiful, most beautiful motor Harley Davidson ever built. Uh, this one's been massaged inside and out. Um, this thing is really shaped up and looking beautiful. I think it's gonna fire right up. You ready? Let's go. All right. So we're gonna go three to prime right off the bat. So choke goes on, three kicks to prime, we'll pull the choke off. Ignition on and hopefully just a couple to go. All right, here we go. Ah, one to go, man. What a deal. All right, let's do this again. So a couple more prime kicks. That was one to go, man, just like it's supposed to. Okay, one to prime, two to prime, three to prime. I'm gonna leave that one on one choke. And here we go, a little retard. There's nothing like hearing a knucklehead come to life for the first time. Ah, oh, that's amazing. 